Hello, my name is Colonite Balas, and I am the president and CEO of the ALS Association. The ALS Association employs about 400 people all across the United States, and we provide health insurance to all of our employees and their families. We are proud to join more than 200 patient advocacy organizations in support of the Safe Step Act. This improves access and affordability for medically necessary treatments. The ALS Association is the only national organization fighting ALS on every front. We lead the way in global research, provide care and support to people living with ALS and their families, and advocate to who improve government policies at the state and federal levels. ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that harms the nerve cells in the brain and in the spinal cord. As motor neurons degenerate, people lose the ability to speak, eat, move, and breathe. I often say it's the opposite of Alzheimer's. You keep the brain and you lose the body. There is no cure for ALS yet and few treatments that do not stop the disease, but can slow the progression. The average life expectancy is around three to five years, although it can be much shorter. Ensuring that people living with ALS have immediate access to ALS specialty drugs and other drugs is urgent. Unfortunately, ALS clinicians and people living with ALS report often that insurers will refuse to cover the cost of the most appropriate medication prescribed by the physician and require that the person with ALS try and fail other treatments. In ALS, fail is death. That's the only way you try something and fail. This insurance mandated therapy overrides the expertise of the physician and the needs of the person living with ALS. This simply cannot be acceptable for people who suffer from such a terrible disease that is both swift and deadly. Step therapy related delays and care can and do lead to severe and even irreversible health outcomes. The Safe Step Act is a patient-centered reform bill that addresses the most common and devastating barrier to treatment adherence. It would ensure that the employer health plans offer a medically reasonable and expedient step therapy exceptions process. The bill enjoys broad bipartisan support in Congress. Policymakers cannot leave people living with ALS and other serious conditions behind. Congress and the administration must include and pass the Safe Step Act as part of the pharmacy benefit management reform package. Thank you for your consideration.